G'day everyone and welcome back to my little home machine shop. I've got a new video for you today and I thought this would be a great playlist uh, along the way as I go and especially if you enjoy them and I'm going to call it Shop Math. Now heaps of other YouTubers do this sort of stuff, especially people like Joe Pye, uh, so go check them out. Now today's video for my Shop Math introduction, which I think will be a good segue into this playlist, is on caudal distance. So you may ask, what is caudal distance? Okay, so if you've got a pitch circle diameter, so PCD, and you wanna know the spacing of your cord for your circles around that PCD. Now, most of us use a CAD system or even your digital readout in your milling machine, but what about if you're just a home shop guy and you don't have a CAD system, you don't have a digital readout, maybe you just got a center punch hammer and a pedestal drill. So we can work this caudal distance out using mathematics and it's very, very simple, it's very easy to do. However, it will require you to have a basic scientific calculator. Now I would prefer, it when I was teaching apprentices and even high school students, I try and encourage them to use the scientific calculator and not their calculator function on their phone, all right? Now these calculators are anywhere from, this is an old one, I've had this for years, but you can still buy these brand new off Amazon for about $25 Australian. That's probably about $3 US for you people out there. That's a joke. So let's have a look at it. I'm gonna flick up the mass on the screen for you so you can have a look. And it's quite easy guys, okay? The mathematical formula for this, so caudal distance equals PCD times sine, then in brackets 180 over the number of holes, all right? So I'm gonna bring you over here now to have a look at this and uh, we'll work some out together. And you can tell me if you enjoy it. Back to the bench here and you can see my paperwork here. And what I've done for you, I've drawn uh, four circles. Now each circle has a diameter of a 80 millimeters. All right, I'll just put my little steel rule on there to validate this and sorry you guys in the US, this will be in millimeters. Um, I haven't tried, it should work. It's a mathematical formula, it should work with inches. And so each circle, as I was saying, is at 80 millimeters diameter. So let's work out the first one. Let's do the five, all right, for argument's sake. So say I've got my, my first circle here on my PCD at 12 o'clock, and I'll just draw a little diameter, little circle there for you with my compass. So let's work this out. So here's our formula. So caudal distance equals PCD times sine bracket 180 divided by the number. So the number in this exercise will be five. So we grab out our scientific calculator and turn that on. Oh, I might elevate this for you. So our PCD was 80 multiplied by sine, open bracket 180 divided by five, close bracket hit equals. And it's telling us that our caudal distance for this one for five circles around the PCD would be 47 millimetres. Okay, so let's work that out. I've got my bigger compass here, so 47. Uh, I'll start on the 10, so I'll make that 57. Okay, so here we go. We put it on the start point. One, two, step out to our next point and step around here. So we've done this first one here, which is five circles around a PCD. Let's try six over this one here. So once again, PCD, so here it is 80, multiplied by sine, open bracket, 180, divided by six, close bracket, equals. And this one here is 40 millimeters. Remember that all these diameters are in metric. So let's work this out quickly. And here we go, from here, one, two. Now, you have to be very careful with this. It is fairly accurate method, but of course, each, each time, if you don't get it right, you'll get an induced error. So the error will accumulate over time. There we have our six now. And of course, I can come over here and 
put my circles on here. Last one. There we have it there, guys. So that was 40. All right. How do, what do you reckon? It's uh, quite easy, isn't it? We'll do one more if you like. In my next video, I'll actually demonstrate doing this and on the three because I had to make these slugs out of here. And these slugs that I pulled out were for my lifters in my little engine build. And there it is there. So out of these slugs, I got all the material I needed to make this. These bushes here. Okay, for my little engine build. Right, lucky last, let's go. So, one more time. PCD is 80, times sign, open bracket 180, divided by four, close bracket equals. This one over here is 56.56, so round up 56.6. All right, and we can step him off over here. I like to start on the 10, so 66.6, .6, roughly here. My eyesight's not the greatest these days. One, two, and three. We can place our circles around that now. And look, if you've got a, obviously, if you've got a CAD system and a CNC machine, that's gonna be way more accurate than this. And second of all, if you've got a mill with a digital readout, it's even gonna be more accurate than this, okay? So there we have it, guys, quite simple. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, that's all I've got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. I, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little shop math video. And look, if you did enjoy it, look, by all means, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Uh, show me some other mash you might be interested in. And uh, if I know it, I'll, if I don't know it, I'll work it out and I'll show it for you here. I think the next video after this will be working out, uh, you know, dividing heads. So if you're cutting gears, how to work that out. So I'll catch you on the next Aaron Engineering video. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.